Good evening and welcome to Chicago Tonight. I'm Phil Ponce on this Thursday, August 9th. The stock market showed extreme volatility again today. The Dow fell more than 380 points, its second worst day of the year. We'll look at the ongoing volatility and what it may mean to you. She's already a certified pilot and now she's building her own airplane. Meet an ambitious young 14-year-old from Chicago's northwest side who's reaching for the sky. You know those old home movies you've got stashed away in a closet somewhere? Well, this Saturday is their day to shine. It is Home Movie Day in Chicago, and we'll tell you about an event where you can have your home movies evaluated and shown. Who would think that you would build something like this? We'll take you inside the home of a Chicago man who spared no expense to enjoy his favorite hobby. Christian Farr gives us a tour of this home observatory. A new mural in historic Edgewater gets rave reviews. On the Art Beat, find out how residents, business owners, and a local art group work together to show their community pride. But first, here's what's happening in Chicago tonight. Back to you. Thanks, Eddie. And still to come on Chicago tonight, a Chicago teenager who's building her own airplane. Home Movie Day is coming up this weekend. We'll tell you where to watch yours and your neighbors. The man who enjoys looking at the stars from the comfort of his own home. And a new mural brings pride to the Edgewater community. As summer starts to wind down, most 14-year-olds are gearing up for their first day of high school. But one 14-year-old is spending the dog days in her garage on Chicago's northwest side. She is building a single-engine airplane. Paris Schutz of the Chicago Tonight staff went to meet this ambitious young aviatrix to find out what is propelling her. Sabrina Gonzalez Pastersky says that at age five, she knew what she wanted to do with her life. One day, you know, she, we're walking around at the airport and she's like, you know, mommy, when I grow up, I want to design spacecraft. And it's like she's always known. At age nine, Sabrina decided she'd learn how to fly an airplane. She's our only child. That we've always told her you can do anything, you know, you just put your mind to it and put effort into it. Do you remember sort of what it felt like the first time you were up in the air? It's really like freedom, that a flight that nothing else, like you can't really compare it to. Sabrina's father, who is a lawyer, electrical engineer, and trained pilot, was thrilled at the prospect of his daughter flying. But Sabrina's mother wasn't quite on board. She told me, Mommy, you know, I'll be very careful. I know what I'm doing. And, you know, she, she had such a, such a passion for it that um, I didn't really want to discourage it. They finally sort of um, won me over. Dr. Micah Fogel is a mathematician at the Illinois Math and Science Academy. He met Sabrina a few years ago at a recruiting event for the school. She came up and was telling me about some of her, you know, what she had, what she had done. She learned to fly when she was nine and this and that. And I said, ah! But what have you done lately? So at age 13, Sabrina began a new project. January of this year, out of the blue, here comes a DVD in the mail with a show of her building her airplane. I've always wanted to go to MIT. And the idea was that um, my parents could fly to meet me when I was in MIT, so that's what this is for. And then also, my mom, she isn't as big a fan as in flying in small aircraft but she promised that she'd fly an aircraft I built. Sabrina received a Zenith Zodiac airplane kit as a gift and went to work with her father. The first month, she built the engine. Sabrina says she took parts from three engines to make a better one. The FAA, which has to approve all modifications, gave the engine a green light and designated it a Sabrina 0200A. For the next seven months, I worked on the fuselage of the aircraft. And then for the last four months, I've been working on the interior, and I took about a month off in the middle there. So you missed a lot of school working on this, right? No, I've never missed a single day of school, never been sick, absent, or tardy. So this has all of your engine instruments, so your fuel levels, um, oil pressure, oil temperature, and, this and fuel And this is your altimeter? And, um, this is your altimeter and also your artificial horizon. It shows you the your, attitude of the mm -hmm. aircraft, how high you are. Naturally, Sabrina had a lot of questions about how to build the plane, but that didn't stop her. If you're willing to learn from others and like ask people for help when you need it, so you don't try to act like you know everything, if you just, then you can do it. If it wasn't for the internet, 
it wouldn't be possible. I mean, she wouldn't know what to do. Because you have five, 600 builders out there and she'll go through their photos on the online and see what mistakes they made. One of this amazing young 14-year-old's ideas has even caught the attention of Homeland Security. I proved, I th believe, to a 95% level of certainty that you could detect um, from about 1,000 feet above ground level um, legal radioactive sources. So she drafted a proposal to have the government equip all single-engine aircraft with Geiger counters to detect potentially dangerous radiation from terrorism or other illegal sources. Think about it. We have all these small aircraft flying around. We might be able to detect something if something is wrong or bad. She presented that to uh, the FAA. They handed it over to Homeland Security. And Sometimes you just have a good idea. But of course, Sabrina's ultimate goal lies beyond the Earth's atmosphere. Ultimate goal is design spacecraft, hopefully one that can take a person to Mars. I just figured out that if I'm going to like become like an aerospace engineer or something, I should know how to fly and then should also know how to build an airplane first. So I'm just working my way up. In the fall, Sabrina starts classes at the Illinois Math and Science Academy, where she's already begun work with Dr. Fogel on a new project. The mission? Design a space shuttle that can take a human to Mars in 33 days. She wanted me to help with the calculations. Sabrina's cautious about showing off her preliminary designs because she says she has plans for them. I kind of showed it to like some of the people at the, like, the FAA and NASA just as like, hey, it's kind of cool, would it work? I don't think I've had any other students like her. So how does someone accomplish all of this without a formal education in science, engineering? She's only 14 years old. She doesn't know what's impossible. So she's willing to suggest out there ideas. And if, if any of the out there ideas are just on the right side of impossible, maybe they can be done. For Chicago Tonight, I'm Paris Schutz. Because of age restrictions in the United States, Sabrina does most of her flight training in Canada. She says she'll finish building her plane by October. You know those boxes of home movies hiding somewhere in your house?